Hey there, everybody. This is Cole here with more Hexcrank Live. If you're being observant, you will say, Hey, Cole, you haven't finished Dead Space 2. What gives? What gives is that my console capture card is broken for the second time, so I have to stream directly from my PC. So I am instead going to stream a game called stories untold. I have no idea what this is. I've heard vague praise for it. I want to do at least the first episode here today. Oh, Stranger Things. I gotcha. <laughs> Jell is upset. Okay, so it's like a like a text adventure. What's this over here? Bye, Jella. Okay, I've pulled up to the to the house and I've looked into the glove box, found a key and a note. Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to pow to get power and lights on. Um, also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. That's not ominous. Okay. Let's see. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Oh, shit. Um, go around house. Go yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look. Go back yard. You walk back around the front of the house. Oh. This text parser is better than the era would uh, would have allowed for. Uh, you enter the house to the hallway. 
Uh, it's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. like that sound effect. Turn on the generator. What do I see when I turn the lights on? The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Um, the note mentioned the attic, so let's go up. You walk upstairs to the landing, the stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Going to check out my old room. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. Um, open box. I don't need to take the box to open it. Let's unwrap this bad boy. You can't believe it! Your dad found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus two. That's a 130K, my friend. Um, it's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Um, let's plug that in. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Uh oh, layers within <laughs> layers. Um, start, uh, let me see here, examine game, X game, X games sponsored by Vans, kick flip 900, smashed potato, hmm, this game sucks, start game. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! The house abandoned. Get out! <laughs> you can't stand to be near this place. Oh, it's all dark and not happy anymore. Um, open glove, glove box. Let's see what Dark Daddy has to say. Inside is a key and a handwritten note. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out the car, get out the car. Um, exit car. <laughs> is this thing gonna blow up? Is this like, uh, is this like uninvited? Exit car. You force the warped car door to open and fall out. All the happy memories are gone from this place. 
There is no love here. Go backyard. You step through through the debris to the backyard. <laughs> Brayden. Hi, Cole. Is this the game version of the hit movie Get Out? Uh, I'd play the shit out of that. <laughs> um, gra the grass is overgrown. It's not a nice place to be. Use generator. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is cool. There's not much fuel. Go out front. Use key. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Oh, wait. Open door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Let's let's follow that compulsion. Well, let's... Well, can't save. Read note. Uh, turn on lights. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There's... <laughs> oh, it reads stop. Someone else is in the house. This cannot be. Make it stop. Go. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Go kitchen. Let's see if I can get a knife. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Read writing. In blood, the number 18, 1986 is smeared across the wall. That might be the year that this is. Um, open door. Examine carcass. Looking closer at the carcass, I cannot tell what it is or what it was. Open carcass. Eat carcass. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, you are disappointed in yourself for even going there. Dance with carcass. <laughs> My shoes are wet. Someone is in this house. Oh, wait, there it is, 1986, scrawled on the wall. And all the pictures of the kids have their eyes blacked over. Huh. Go living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, Furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your hand. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look at furniture. Exit. Go upstairs, I head up the stairs. 
they creak. Same but differ, Ent. The landing has, has access to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the... <laughs> you don't understand. Neither can he. Voices spill out of the phone into the, into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Look at pictures. Go to the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Examine sink. Yeah. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You cannot bear this. <laughs> Neither of us should be here. I've walked into the same room where I am playing the game. Reading the note in my hand, I'm sorry, Jennifer, I'm sorry, Mom, I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. <laughs> you struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. Your grip on the node tightens further. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Alright, I was hoping to avoid this kill person. You 
are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It's all my fault. Oh, please stop. So I think that maybe that was a uh, an introduction. So let's try the lab conduct. Okay. Okay, the manual here, electromagnetic spectrum x-ray, required apparatus, camera, monitor set to x-ray, charge CC86 x-ray device. with any of this. What is going on? Why can't I type?
Every time I <laughs> every time my cursor. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, here we are. I think the object is in there, and this is the camera. So, set the monitor to X ray. R3, IR, XR. Charge CC86 X-ray device. So it's some kind of organic meteor. Ooh, let's see my new task. Why isn't this just intermittently my keyboard doesn't work. Okay, something is weird with either my keyboard or this game or Unity. I am just having no luck. Okay, demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Um, okay. Set the wavelength on the laser gener generator to 65 nanometers. Six hundred and fifty. Monitor set to RGB. Huh. It's like a heart. It's like a heart with some diodes in it. No reaction from first stage. Let's try high frequency. Use the green. Five hundred and ten nanometers. Are we restarting this thing with lasers? Uh, blue or purple? Blue. If 
455 and then 400. <laughs> hoo hoo, look at it go! Acoustic resonance properties. Let's pump up these jams. 250 hertz. Amplifier gain set to one. Finally, something I understand. Signal generator amplifier. Okay. Sine wave 251. Breeden, I don't think that's a human heart. Give it out. <laughs> I would very much like for it to be a human heart. <laughs> let me pretend is what Breeden says. I will let you pretend. That's fine. That is a okay. Five hundred and five. Gotcha. I can hear you. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Um, square wave five hundred and five. <laughs> Look at the little light in the porthole there. Maintain five. Bring the waveform frequency up to one kilohertz. All right, let's watch this thing explode.
Okay, here we go. Yes. You've made it excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these <laughs> next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of the discomfort. Connection. The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Okay, switch the drill on. Ensure all other uh, equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. Ready. When ready, trigger sync master as normal to begin the drill insertion. Okay. So. Good. Fires off, lasers off. That's sure. Where is the drill at? Oh, right here. Oh, we weren't testing the heart. We were testing the core inside the heart. Whoa, and that blew out the monitor. Radiated. Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll meet. <laughs> Make a contact with the artifact. Let's read these safety instructions in the equipment layout. Use safety goggles at all times. Don't leave the container unattended. Extremely dangerous to handle items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Okay. I've used all of these, so... Oh, cool. It's like a conscious work box. It can show you its memory. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity.
Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole into the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. Exit ship. Open door. Is there something I'm not thinking of? This part of text adventures. Okay, impact has done this. understand that part. I don't understand what the memories are trying to get me to do. You wake up in the cryopod. Um, open. Open. drag this around? No. Wow, this is being really, really persnickety. Jeez, it didn't even mention a computer.
Okay, so that gives me like a little a little snippet. Gotcha. This person is making contact with me. Comforting. They got me hooked up to medical stuff alive. We awake. <laughs> the memory is cognizant of me. The room is silent uh, only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together as unison. We have been butchered and maimed over and over. Wait, is this the autopsy? <laughs> proxies on proxies. The dead, le the dead leader is uh, connecting into uh, one of the guys they have in quarantine, and I'm... Huh. Nope, we're, we're committed, man. Is that an emergency light? What is that? A uh, Ringu? Through 
through the door, we find ourselves in a room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes around us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone and together. Um, Uh oh, Beacon. Let's get all Cronenberg up in this B. Do I just have to match? Wait, it's over there. So this has four. Let's try it. Let's try doing this. What's happening? <laughs> it's scanning the room. They're all scanning the room. Each of these aliens had an artificial heart and they're all communicating. Not today. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go to bed. I know this is a short stream, but it's a holiday weekend and it had been a while. Um, Next session, given how short these are, I'll probably do these next two. That'll either be tomorrow um, or next weekend. Uh, I, I hope it's not that long, but um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Hope you enjoyed that hour. Take care. Uh, it's the day before New Year's Eve. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe holiday. Bye.